we're going to start out by spraying all the molds with a graphite powder to help release easier and also to help the lead flow in better. And it just takes a very light quick coating, but it And now all of our molds are ready to be poured. Okay, now we're getting ready to start pouring everything. So the first thing we need to do is turn our pot on, make sure our lead is good and hot, which is gonna take uh, approximately 20 to 30 minutes to get ready. So we'll get that turned on. And then also you can see that we have our molds all lined up on a hot plate. Uh, this is best, especially when starting with cold molds. So we'll also turn our hot plate on let the molds start preheating and while they're preheating we'll also start loading them with hooks and eyes and whatever else we need to do so we'll get it turned on and then we'll start loading up the molds we begin by pulling off one of our molds and we'll start loading them up with hooks and if you'll notice we're using all mustad uh, you just need to make sure that you get the proper hook that suits your mold and simply place the hook in the slot. And once everything is in, we will clamp them. We'll probably move the clamp later, but this will allow us to put the mold back on the heater. And then we'll move on to the next one. Okay, our lead is up to temperature and you can see there's a little bit of things floating around on top. So we want to just scoop that off and here's a little trick in case you have any jig heads or anything that you pour that didn't come out quite right you don't need to throw it away simply take it dip it back in your pot wait until it's all melted give it a little tap and just simply brush it off and now you have a clean hook again that you can we'll start out with our first mold which is a one eighth to one ounce concave worm weight mold made by Collins Customs. Uh, we'll just put a quick clamp on it just to hold everything together. Now, I do have a bottom pour pot, but for today's video, we are going to hand ladle everything just to show you the different ways. Dip it. up our ladle a little bit and we'll move on to our next one Sinker mold. Now 
I'll let everything cool off and then we'll open up all the molds and see how we did. While we're opening up these, I want to start preheating my next molds because as you can see, they're rather large. So we'll get them on the hot plate, let them start preheating. Uh, we'll probably even pour a couple of blank casts just to make sure that they're hot enough. Okay. Start out with our egg stinker mold. And everything is still hot, so it's advisable to use gloves. We'll try and remove our pull pins first. First one. worm hooks and there's a little bit of flashing but nothing that can't be cleaned up uh, these aren't actually what the mold calls for I just like these hooks better but everything is easily removed with our gate cutters just cut kind of close then we'll trim off this excess doing the same thing we'll just trim it kind of closely and we should be able to pull it the rest of the way off. Three different size weighted hooks. Uh, I like to run these with swim baits in conjunction with a worm weight. Uh, the weighted hook helps keep the belly down and I use the varying size worm weights to keep it at the depth I want. I'm using most of these for salt water so my depths are a little bit different than most of the freshwater guys. Uh, let's move on to our worm weight mold. This one can be a little bit tricky just because it's so intricate, but the main thing is use the graphite spray and you need to have your lead extra hot and you need to try and get the mold very hot also. You can see with the graphite, the pins pull out much easier. So we can trim off the excess and I'll just get it kind of close and we'll finish it off with a little filing later. And we can throw the excess back in the pot. And there we have our completed worm weights. These go from one eighth to one ounce. Now let's move on. This is our do it. Eerie jig. And these run from one eighth ounce to three quarter ounce. Just cut some of this excess screw off. Now we have a complete set of the Erie, and here we have the Diner Shiner, Dinner Shiner, however you want to pronounce it. Also from Do It Molds. These are from 3 8 ounce to 1 ounce. set of dinner shiners and last but not least our bullet jig mold okay here we have one more mold that I want to pour before we move on to our large ones so we'll get our hooks loaded in uh, this one is very similar to the do it mold the dinner shiner uh, these are just a little bit bigger Uh, 
it is a little trickier. And we'll throw this on the hot plate while we load up a couple of our big molds and get them ready. This is a do it flitter mold. Uh, it's actually pretty hard to get nowadays. I believe they may have stopped making them. These are pretty easy, just simply load the wire in place. And close your mold. There you have it. Now you're ready to pour. So next one. This is a Collins Custom Slow Jig, three, five, seven, and nine ounce. Okay, we need a number three pilot, and these are very simple. Uh, initially, the, the molds are going to be fairly tight, so we'll just snap them in place. This is the Collins Seaball Barbed Hook Jig. Uh, uses a number eight O'Shaughnessy hook along with uh, number two eyelets. This is four, five, six, eight, and ten ounce. So it's a pretty hefty one, but it's needed to get down to the bottom and some of the places that I'm fishing here. All right, this one is the eight aught only. It will take a slightly smaller hook. As you can see it has magnets to hold everything in place. And you just simply slide the hook in until the point touches. And I want to have multiple rigging options. So we're gonna put both eyes in depending on what you are fishing for you may decide that you would prefer to have the longer eyes that way you can interlock the eyes on these bigger ones but uh, for what we're doing most of the fish aren't huge it's more the weight to get down to where they're at. Uh, these are plenty strong. And we'll close up this mold, make sure all our hooks are in. pour this mold real quick and get it out the way. It should be plenty hot now. Not bad. So here we have larger dinner shiner version from Caster Tackle in the UK and they're looking pretty good. Get a quick trim. Again, this is another from Collins Customs. It's our number five fish jig, two, four, six, eight, and 10 ounce. Uses number one and number two eyes. These I typically use assist hooks on, so I'm not real concerned about the strength of the eye and the jig. Uh, it's primarily just for finishing purposes. Otherwise, 
I will just leave this bottom eye off as I use the assist hook rig to the top. seem to be kind of close. Uh, different eyes from different vendors are made differently so I'll just squeeze them in a little bit to make sure that the eyes are completely inside the jig when it's cast. Uh, also using the extended length on these would be beneficial. Uh, gonna have to get some. I do have the smaller number one size extended length. You can see these get it much deeper into the body, giving us a little more clearance. And we're ready to close the mold. Let these warm up a bit, make sure that all of our hooks and hardware is good and warm. If not, it'll cause problems when you try to pour. And we're probably going to pour two of each. So we'll get some more eyes ready and we'll be right back and start pouring.